buck right there. Well, that's a nice looking deer, boys. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Robert Harris. I deployed to Iraq four times. We got lots of good deer coming out now. I want to welcome you here to the Diamond D Ranch here in Texas on the Outdoor Channel. It's game on from the get-go for me and Sergeant Harris. He's clear. Let me see if I can get him to raise his head. Probably one of the biggest deer I've ever seen with a pair of binoculars. OK, right on the shoulder. Take him. Get the green light to make the shot, and he just Servicemen and women pay the price to preserve our freedom. Join us as we reconnect wounded warriors with their roots as American sportsmen. And show our thanks as a grateful nation. this kind of weather. This is uh, good hunting weather now. All the signs are good ones for me and Staff Sergeant Robert Harris down here in Texas brush country. Chase, uh, those are two good looking deer there. Now, what's the story on them? The deer that they have here are some really amazing whitetail. Yeah, the real tall one, he's uh, seven by five. And I think last year he was actually a little bit better we had a little bit of a drought this summer, and even though he's a real big frame, he was a, I think he was a better deer last year. So he's kind of regressing now. Yeah, but he's only six years old, so there's no reason to, to kill him yet. Well, you got the rut coming up too, and you went on the breed. Right? Correct, exactly right. Big deer is our focus. We try to manage the population, keep the numbers down, and then try to remove whatever bucks are not coming up to, to par. The buck on the right mm -hmm. is a big 10-pointer. And he's already a very old deer, seven, eight-year-old deer for sure. Got big, beautiful deer. I mean, it gets your blood pumping a little bit. Later on this season, post rut, we'll probably try to remove him from the herd. It's his but time. you want him to go through rut as well? Yes, sir. And it's his time to go after that. Our outfitter was behind us and telling us it's not the deer we want to shoot. Probably one of the biggest deer I've ever seen with a pair of binoculars. A lot of folks don't understand that, how important it is to have, I'll say, good management so that you have deer for future. Right? Absolutely. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Robert Harris. I've done four tours in Iraq, one with the uh, 2nd ACR out of Fort Polk, Louisiana, three with the 3rd Brigade 45D out of Fort Carson, Colorado. First of October 2006, we went to my E6 board and passed, and that night we was prepping for an air assault mission, and that morning we left out on two Black Hawk helicopters. Got there and began to move through the terrain and there was a uh, insurgent on the ground. And once I got close enough, he began to spray uh, AK-47 rounds and hit me three times. One round went in my right hip, another round across the left thigh. Sorry, first class Pettit now. He came and grabbed me by the back of my, my vest, trying to get out of the field of fire. At that time, the medic started cutting all my clothes off and I looked down and I could just see my, my body turn white. Unbelievable. And uh, when I wake up, I have a uh, tube in my nose, 29 staples in my stomach, and then uh, Foley as well. After I got back and the doctor did his, did his official x-ray, he found out that I had uh, my L5 was slipped forward and was pinching their nerves in both my legs. So he's done four tours and been shot three times and walked away from IEDs and EFPs and, uh, and something has slipped four millimeters is going to put you out in the military. A lot of our military is going through a lot of tough times. I like to think that uh, having Robert on this trip has been good for him mentally and physically and uh, knowing how much he loves hunting, I think that's part of uh, his lifeblood that keeps him going. We're hunting the Diamond D Ranch with owner and guide Jason Dennis in South Texas, where a strict management plan dictates which deer are on and off the limits. So, We'll be hunting hard for a good one to fill Robert's freezer and hang on his wall back home in the Palmetto State. But first, we pull a little range time. You're not in South Carolina anymore. No, sir. This is a whole lot flatter and drier <laughs> than where I'm from. Yeah. So. But now some of those deer that we see inside the lodge there, do um, your deer back in South Carolina get that big? No, sir. That is, those are beautiful, beautiful 
specimens just from this range. Robert mentioned to me that the biggest whitetail he's ever harvested is 120 inches. I'm optimistic that we'll get him a deer much bigger than 120 inches. Not that score makes a trophy, but I'd like him to go back home to South Carolina with, with a bigger deer than he's ever seen. You uh, excited? I'm really excited. I'm, I hadn't seen a deer like that in my whole life, so I'm, I'm grateful for being here. I'm grateful for Jason and Wes and, and Grateful Nation for inviting me. This, this is unbelievable. I ended up here, I saw Grateful Nation on, on television one day. Saw what it did for veterans and I was talking to myself, I wonder how I can get on the show. So I looked the show up, I wrote a, a good bio up of things I've done and the next day after I sent that in, said they were going to recommend me for a show and I Man, I got excited. So what do we got, 125, 100? 120. All right, South Carolina, you ready to do it? Yes, sir. All right. That was good. Perfect. All right, there you go. Go kill a deer. Straight out of the gate, we saw two big bucks that were not on the hit list. So the search will continue for a shooter. Or maybe one of the other beasts that roams this place. This morning we saw two nice bucks, but uh, they weren't the ones that we were looking for, and no go on those, but wait, wait, shh, shh. there's a hog right down there. We did see a hog. About 100 yards down, you see him? Yeah. Robert, he loves hog hunting back home in South Carolina, so getting a South Texas hog was kind of a high priority. You see that black spot out there in the fog? Yeah. Kind of a silhouette. It looks like a good boar hog. Kind of crazy because it was there was not a lot of fog where, where we were specifically sitting, but it was a overcast day, and that fog just kind of like a like a cloud rolled in, and that hog comes out. Robert, could you can you see him in your scope? See him there? He's kind of feeding off to the left there. When the boar hog walked out, it was kind of still early, and it was real thick fog, and you could just see the silhouette of the of the pig. It's hard to. Pick him up in that fog and that grass. I can barely, barely make him out. About 100 yards down, you see him? Let's see what happens. Maybe the fog will lift up a little bit. He might come closer to us, too. Jason says, yeah, he gave him a green light to take the shot, too. And, and I'm waiting for the break that trigger. And he's up there watching, watching. And I can barely, barely make him out. Finally, that hog is he's kind of moving off to our left. And I'm waiting for that shot, waiting for that shot. Grateful Nation, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition, is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Bushnell. Savage Arms. No nonsense, all performance. Champion. Shoot better. Have fun. And by Blackhawk. Honor as a way of life. Wait, wait, shh, shh. there's a hog right down there. About 100 yards down there, you see him? Yeah. When the boar hog walked out, it was kind of still early and real thick fog. And you could just see the silhouette of the, of the pig. It's hard to pick him up in that fog and that grass. I can barely, barely make him out. Not a comfortable shot for you? No, sir. Let's see what happens. Maybe the fog will lift up a little bit. He yeah. might come closer to us, too. Finally, that hog is he's kind of moving off to our left, and I'm waiting for that shot. Waiting for that shot. Looks like a looks like a decent pig, though. Oh, there he goes off to the right. Something spooked him. Oh, he's gone. I waited, but the, he finally spooked off and run in the woods. Things like that happen, even when you're a good ethical sportsman and you do the right thing. He wanted to make sure that he had a perfect shot on this, and I think that that sort of, uh, he was second guessing himself about pulling the trigger on that. That's just my opinion. But that hog was there, and then he was not. And hey, you know, that's hunting. The only good shot is a sure shot, and Robert was right to let it walk. Besides, it's the outdoor experience that helps these guys heal more than any trophy ever could. How old were you when you decided or knew that you wanted to go in the military? 19. You know, join the army and see the world and meet new people and see new places. Military changed my life. It really did. Um, taught me yeah, discipline right. and standards. Met a lot of people from around the world. You just wouldn't believe the people that signed that piece of paper and raised the right hand. I lost a 
couple of those guys already. So, but um, the Army's been been great. I miss it every day. When you have a soldier that goes down in your platoon, or even your, uh, your company, or we as leaders, you, you got to tell them. I mean, um, they might be gone, but they're not forgotten. Right. I mean, you're, you're always going to remember them. I have several soldiers. I remember every day they're gone. Outdoors and, and hunting, it really keeps me stress-free, I guess you could say. A couple of my, my doctor does see say it's great for the mind. So the woods and the outdoors is my therapy. Look how beautiful this is. It is. It's, it's beautiful out I here. mean, I hope that um, maybe when you get back home, if you could uh, get some young soldier, one of your guys, maybe take him out sometime, just go sit in the woods, you know? Maybe that'll help clear his mind a little bit and see how beautiful life is and decide to choose life, you know? Nature, nature itself is a, a beautiful and, and it, I mean, it keeps me busy. Guide Wes Mundy of Devil Diamond Outfitters has seen nature's healing power before, including this inspiring all dad hunt with corporate Jason Sellers. Right over on that brown patch, on that far hill, there's about 10 good all dad. There's a, there's a pretty nice ram over there. It's going to be a little bit of a hike. This is not going to be easy. Well, Lace your boots up. Got up there and uh, looked, you know, spotted uh, what we finally, you know, thought was a pretty nice and cheery adult uh, ram. That's a perfect spot. There's a nice big rock ledge. I mean, it's a chip shot, 100 yards. But he's around the corner. <laughs> So we're gonna have to try and get out here. There's there's a little point out here. That's a little further. It sticks out a little further. Did you see his little comrades? No, like I didn't. They might see spot anybody. us or anything. I didn't see anybody else. We'll just get down to this point and then go from there. And we went up the draws and uh, so, well we went up to went up around and we came in from the top and uh, hiked in and hiked down to a pretty good distance away. Uh, because we didn't want them to be spooked out of that out of that hole, out of there where they were hiding in the cave hole there. So just stay on me. We'll load when we get up there. Right where that rock face goes vertical, he's right there. From from this point, it's gonna be real. We gotta stay low, cause he's- Tough too. Yeah, he, what, we're right. 400 yards? Yeah, I think so. It's not gonna be a real close shot, but that's as close as we've got right now. So stay behind me. Ready and stay right, yeah. right next Don't to load you. anything yet, stay right okay. behind me. And we're gonna, we're probably gonna have to crawl the last 15 yards or so. No worries. So just stay on me. We'll load when we get up there. Yeah, yeah. At 400 yards, this stud all dad is barely in range for Jason Sellers, but as a skilled Marine marksman, this retired corporal is more than up to the challenge. That's a big all dad up there. And in a stroke of luck, the big old ram actually moved into a better spot for the shot. You're moving down. Just get comfortable. I'm good, so don't worry about me. Get in that nice shoulder position. Good job. Yeah, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. He is down. You know, on all these hunts, I do what I can to, to donate my time and efforts and, and anything that I can do to help these guys out, I'm more than willing to help. Everybody that I know in this country gets to do exactly what they're doing because someone put their life on the line. So this is just a, just a small way for me to say thank you to those guys. Beautiful all dad, I can't thank you enough for coming with me. I can't thank you guys enough. It's not always easy to, uh, to overcome these obstacles that we face, but I mean, if you're a veteran out there, uh, I highly suggest to you to please, uh, please don't uh, 
you know, get yourself so down that you're doing all these other things that's not uh, progressive in your lifestyle. Just try to find what works for you, but uh, come out here to the great outdoors. PTSD is the battle of a lifetime for a lot of soldiers. And while nature is one-of-a-kind medicine, a little success goes a long way too. And Sergeant Harris is ready to rock. That evening, we go out, and again, we get dropped off, and we kind of move in, and we're just kind of kind of cruising, kind of slow through the bush. We'll go up to some spots that we know patterned where they're feeding or even bedding down. We've had a couple of real nice deer coming in here. There's a nice eight point, and then there's a bigger, more mature 10 that's been coming up. That's the one you guys saw this morning, right? Right, exactly. The good sergeant had a great looking 10 pointer step out earlier in the day, but something spooked him before he could get a good clean shot. So the hunt continued. Now we've got several more does coming out. They're coming out from all over. There's a good buck right there. Well, that's a nice looking deer, boys. Yeah. Now we got lots of good deer coming out now. Oh, there's a, there's a deer coming in from the right over there. Is that him? Yeah, it yeah, kind of looks like it. Looks like that. Take. Looks like that big ten. We sit here close to 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, and the deer we want to take. He walks out at the end of the Sendero. He's a good deer. He's yeah, that's the one from this morning. Lo and behold, that 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 big ten point comes out again. Yeah. Okay. He's. He's pushing some of those younger bucks out of the way, and he'll he'll move those does as well. He walks towards us. There's several deer there already, and so we wait for the perfect shot. He'll come up to where those does are at, and once he gets clear of the does, he he turns broadside. Go ahead and shoot him. Standing quarter to me uh, a little bit, and I'm on him. And my breathing's calm. Okay, he's clear. Let me see if I can get him to raise his head. Hang on one second. <whistles> okay, right on his shoulder. Take him. Get the green light to make the shot, and he just. Hi, I'm Tim Abel. And I'm Staff Sergeant Robert Harris. And you're watching Federal Premium Ammunition's Grateful Nation on the Outdoor Channel. Right here at Diamond D Ranch with Double Diamond Outfitters in Texas. Grateful Nation presented by Federal Premium Ammunition is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Bushnell. Savage Arms, no nonsense, all performance. And by the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation. No legislation should come between you and the outdoors. Visit www.sportsmanslink.org to learn more. He's a good deer. He's, yeah, that's the one from this morning. Lo and behold, that, that, that big 10 point comes out again. Yeah, okay. He's He's pushing some of those younger bucks out of the way, and he'll he'll move those does as well. Standing quarter to me uh, a little bit. I'm on him, and my breathing's calm. Okay, he's clear. Let me see if I can get him to raise his head. Hang on one second. Okay, right on his shoulder, take him. Get the green light to make the shot, and he just... Oh, there he goes. Yep. Bumped up, that was a hit. That deer kind of punches up and takes off. The shot to me looked like it was a little bit further back. We'll give him about 15 or 20 minutes. And uh, then we'll go see if we can find some blood, but you hit him. I mean, definitely you hit him. I mean, I, I felt really great. 
cameraman and says, I think you hit him a little bit far back. Oh my God, I mean, it was like, I felt this small and my heart dropped. We're gonna lose light here in a little bit, so we ought to at least see if we can find some blood before it gets dark. Right now the landowner and the outfitter are both trying to still find the blood and while we're sitting here waiting and uh, just a feeling of making a bad shot with the opportunity like this uh, makes me sick. All right, we found a little bit of blood right out here on the trail where we hit him. And uh, we're just, we're just gonna follow him and see how far we can find As night falls, the search continues. The going is tough, but the crew is undaunted. Robert is very, 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 very upset right now. And uh, found some blood over there and uh, but not a lot, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We might have to wait till the morning. Jason and uh, Wes, and it seems like we found them up here, so let's go see if we, uh, I know that Robert is really excited, so really happy. Hey guys, we found yeah. it. Go ahead, jump in. Over here, guys. Oh, go. Over here. Go, go. Yeah. It's nice. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Man. It's a big old deer. Everything was fine. Robert got to put his hands on a big old mature South Texas deer. Thanks, buddy. Hey, thanks, Jason. You're welcome. Well, appreciate it. Thanks, <laughs> thanks Wes. Congrats, Robert, Congrats. you didn't make it easy for anybody, did you? I didn't. Huh? No, Mr. Tim, right. I didn't. <laughs> Biggest deer I've ever killed in my life. Biggest deer I even had my hands on. Beautiful. Nice and pure buck. About Six to seven years old, and the land owner's happy, and the outfitter's glad we found him. People don't realize these Texas deer get so big, but I mean, he's probably a 200 Next. pound deer. Hopefully, with Grateful Nation and uh, episodes like this, over the nine years that we've been able to uh, touch a few lives like Robert, and that's why I'm so grateful to be part of Grateful Nation. The vets have been wonderful, and uh, I can't thank them enough for their service. Hi, I'm Tim Abel. And I'm Wes Mundy. And I'm Jason Dennis. And I'm Robert Harris. And you're watching Federal Premium Ammunition's Grateful Nation. On the Outdoor Channel. At Diamond D Ranch. In the great state of Texas. I just want to thank everyone for, for this opportunity and let me come to, come to Texas. And we found the deer. We did. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ta <laughs> See? Well, you said more last time, so that's why I didn't say nothing. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs>